Good morning. I am back. Yes, I am. I didn't know if I was going to be. Uh, I didn't know how long a break I really wanted. But there really wasn't much going on, so I figured, eh, why bother right now? I'll take, you know, some time off. But I have made videos. I never posted them. Um, <laughs> I took pictures. I never posted them. Once in a while, I'll put it on, um, what do you call it, Instagram. But that's it. I mean, I, I haven't done anything. Don't mind the hair. I just got out of the shower. But um, I guess there has been um, a lot going on. Um, as you know, I got a haircut. I'm not sure if you guys all saw that or not, but I did get a haircut. I always said when I turn 65, I'll cut my hair. Um, for some reason, my I have my mother's, my mother in my head always saying, people over that age should never have long hair, blah, 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 blah. So, I don't know. It was just in my head thought for forever. So, uh, a month before I turned 65, which I turned 65 July 3rd, um, I decided to get my hair cut. I went with Amy and she went and got her hair cut. Hers came out really, really cute. Uh, it took me a while to get used to this, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I was in grade school because my mother always cut my hair and I always looked like a boy. Everybody asked me if I was a boy. It was annoying. Anyway, um, we went to Ulta, Ulta Beauty. They had a salon in there, which I had no idea. So that's where we went. And they, I, I thought we liked it. So we've been back again just for a trim. Uh, I just want to try and grow it out a little bit more. I really wanted to have more like, I don't know, separated layers, if, if that makes any sense. But it, it didn't work out that way. My hair has a mind of its own, apparently. <clears throat> but anyway, I am still on the struggle bus, kind of, with my eating. Um, I go back to the dietitian next week. I think it's the first week of August um, because I've had to change up some of my food because of you know digestive issues and stuff like that um, I've also had to uh, I'm also not 100% plant-based anymore um, I might have said years ago that I was vegan but I'm really not vegan or I really wasn't vegan I did have some you know cheat meals or cheat desserts or snacks or something but uh, same with the plant-based I, I wasn't 100% but I mean I tried most days but it didn't always work um, and I didn't really lose I mean I lost weight but it wasn't really sustainable for me because it's hard when everybody else in the house eats other different foods so um, you really want what they have you it's hard you, you Willpower, I have none, so that's not even a word in my dictionary. Uh, but anyway, um, I do, I don't, once in a blue moon, I'll have a little bit of chicken. Like we went to Culver's, uh, I think last week, and I got a cashew chicken salad, and I used my own dressing that I make, so that was good. I mean, that was low in calories, and it was good. So, um, what else? Oh, I've been adding in cottage cheese because they want me to increase my protein and some uh, organic farm fresh eggs I've been getting, uh, either from the market or from the store. I'd prefer get them from the market, but that's all. I mean, I don't have anybody in the area that I know that has eggs, chickens, whatever. So that's what I've been eating. Um, I don't eat anything, uh, any white bread at all. I've been, once in a while, maybe once or twice a month, I'll have um, whole grain bread that I picked up at, at the farmer's market. It's really, really good. Um, it's really good. And it has, that, has little tiny seeds in it. That's the only annoying thing that I find with anything like that. 
um, because I have a dentures and it gets underneath my plate and it, it hurts. It's really annoying. Um, but other than that, it's really good. I only need one slice and I have, uh, have it on avocado, uh, you know, a little bit of avocado or table, you know, tablespoon of like almond butter or peanut butter or something like that. Anyway, I'm counting calories, um, because... Uh, I don't want to go over a certain amount, obviously. Um, she had me start at my weight, what it is now, and then my first goal weight. Say, I'm like, I don't know. I have put on a few pounds, and I took off some already, but I'm, I'll say like 230. So if I want to get under two, in the 200s, I need to eat less than 2,000 calories. And then, um, and then you go down from there, like like 180, she said to, to uh, eat 1,800 calories and so forth. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but she said anything, anything to try right now because my body just doesn't want to release this extra weight. Um, I've done allergy testing and uh, I found out that I'm not allergic to eggs anymore. Um, I'm still allergic to garlic, but I'm really thrilled that I'm not allergic to eggs. Um, and what else? What else? Having trouble with my arthritis. You know, I always have trouble with my leg and my hand. So I'm packing up potatoes. I have. We've been making fries with it or uh, hash browns for everybody. Um, yeah, my hand. I've had the the pain in my hand has been unbearable lately. Um, it really has, and it's hard for me to, you know, I can't open anything. I can't I can't write with anything because what I'm having is uh, this finger has been locking up the ring finger. <sighs> so bad. So, um, anyway, I went to the doctor and they sent me to a hand specialist and then I ended up having a cortisone injection right here in my hand. And oh my lanta, did that hurt going in. So, hopefully it was gonna work and we waited like two or three days maybe. When did I go? I went, so it's been one, two, three, four days. On the third day, that darn finger started to lock up again. And I'm like, oh, come on. I really don't want to go through that again. So um, I get, it's going to take time. It's going to take, you know, a week or two. It could even take longer to go away. And I have a follow-up appointment in two weeks. So if it's still bothering me, he's going to give me another injection. Now, if that doesn't work, I'm not sure if he's going to give another injection or he's going to have to go in surgically and snip whatever that is, tendon or something, which I really don't want. Um, because um, I have been having trouble with my knee. Um, you know that I've been walking, my knee collapses on me or tries to collapse on me, and I usually walk with my walking stick if I go out and walk outside um, and I, I'm also knock kneed so I went to my doctor and he gave me an anti-inflammatory you know it, it helped a little it helped um, it's not that I have a lot of pain um, it's just the, the fear of it uh, me collapsing on it and Anyway, it was causing a little bit, of, it was a little bit of swelling, which was fine. I mean, um, that was easy to deal with, but um, it was just annoying. You know, the, the crumbling feeling and the feeling of, being, of collapsing and, and, and then it, and the side of my leg, every once in a while I would get this, you know, ungodly sharp pains and then it would go away as fast as they came. So. Whatever. So I went, I, I put it off and put it off and put it off. You know, I, I've been having this issue for quite a long time. And, 
he finally sent me to um, the knee orthopedic. He only does knees and hips. So I went to him, they took x-rays again and blah, whatever. And I, cause I put it off because I didn't want to go to therapy. I didn't want, I didn't want to put Amy out to have, to take me to therapy like two or three times a week. I, you know, so I figured, all right, I'm going to go. All right. I'll, it's probably just, I'll send, go to therapy. They'll probably give me an injection or something like that. So anyway, he's looking at the doctor's, the x-ray, and he says, well, I hate to tell you this, and I know it's not what you're going to want to hear, but you you need a total knee replacement. Well, my Lord, I thought I was going to fall on the floor because I was not thinking of that whatsoever. Um, whatsoever. So, and uh, he was, you know, he had lifted my leg up and, and turned it ways that I didn't know a knee could even bend. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I do not want this done. But if I don't, it's only gonna get worse and I'm not gonna be able to even stand on it. So anyway, so there's that. So I am scheduled to have my knee surgery on September 16th. So I have, now I, now I have a whole bunch of appointments that I have to go to, the respiratory doctor, and which you know I love that CPAP machine. Um, and then I have to get a pre-op physical, and then I have to go to uh, a therapy class or some kind of class with Amy, and then we have a pre-op visit, and then just what I love, because I just, I'm not a fan of going to doctors or whatever. Um, so I'm still walking as, as, as much as, well, not as much as I can. I'm walking a little bit on the treadmill, just, you know, slowly, just to keep my legs moving and to help my neuropathy, which has also increased tremendously, and they increased that medicine. So I'm like getting really discouraged because I thought, I really want to try to get off all these medicines and all I'm doing is adding more and more and more. <sighs> it's really, really frustrating. So, um, <sighs> anyways, what else was I saying? I lost my train of thought already. Um, yeah, I've been doing the walk and I do a little bit of a health bounce on the rebounder. I don't, um, really bounce like lift my legs or feet off the, the mat at all I don't want to you know do anything but so just to bounce get some circulation going the lymph system going um, and I've been doing picking up some strength training just with some hand weights I've been doing that sitting in the chair and I can't really do it standing up because if I do any kind of like squatting or anything that's when my knee decides it doesn't want to cooperate so um, I don't do that so I'll do some chair yoga if I can um, if there's if there's room enough for me to move around in there and it's a kind of a cluttered living room but it gets cleaned up anyways that's a different story <laughs> but um what else so it's been you know different I just I'm still eating as healthy as I can, counting calories, like I said. I'm really not following the amount that she said I am. But that was the older, older uh, dietitian. Uh, I'm going to a different dietitian next week, so we'll see what she has to say. Um, I can't imagine myself eating that amount of calories with uh, healthy food. I don't but I've been really sticking to like probably 13 to 15, 50 maybe. Once in a while I'll go to 16. That's, you know, if we go to like out to dinner or um, get takeout or something like that. But uh, other than that, um, like I said, I have gained a few pounds. Um, pro and, and most of it is because of inflammation from... Um, everything that's going on in my body, uh, especially my GI system and 
Anyway, so I've been slowly bringing that down. Um, I probably, I don't know, I'm at least maybe, a, well, not a pound a week, but half a pound maybe, pound. It's slow. I don't, you know, I can't force it to come off, so. <clears throat> it is what it is. So anyways, what else, what else, what else? I'm gonna, I'm gonna video my cross, my whole knee experience from beginning to end. Um, the good, bad, and the ugly. And uh, so in case, you know, anybody is, is thinking about having the surgery, at least you'll know what one person has gone through. Um, and I'll share. So if anybody has any tips and tricks of what I can and shouldn't do or um, whatever. And if, what about footwear? Does anybody have any recommended footwear um, to wear after surgery? Someone said I could wear my Crocs um, because it allows uh, swelling in your feet. So that's a thought, but I'm sure I'll find out in that um, class that, I'm take, that we're taking, so. Anyway, um, so anyway, I thought I'd share again what I eat in a day uh, because it, it helps me stay on track. Um, sometimes I, I, I still eat the same breakfast every day. I know it's boring, but um, if I don't have it, I'm like, my whole day is like out of whack. Like, I don't know what to have. Like, what do I have? I don't have any blueberries. What am I going to have? <laughs> I go crazy. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll show you what I had. I did prep some potatoes today. I'll show you um, in the end of the video. I made some white potatoes, like I said, for the fries. And I've been making some, uh, like a potato salad, just using the one potato. I don't eat as many potatoes as I used to. Um, I've been just eating the one or two small ones. I've been cutting it up and making like a potato salad with the cashew ranch dressing from Plentiful Kiki's cookbook. So that's what I've been doing there. I made some sweet potatoes because I still love my sweet potatoes and salads. And then I have a light dinner. Um, and then I don't eat after, actually I don't eat after 5.30, 6 the latest. And I have breakfast around 7.30ish, 8 around there, usually. But I try to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner because that seems to work for me um, at a set time. So I know you shouldn't eat by the clock, but if it works for you, stick with it. That's what I say. So anyways, um, that's it for now. But I wanted to, you know, chime in and let you know um, how things are and how things are going. Everybody in the house is doing well. Sally's doing well. He, um, he's enjoying his scooter. We go out for uh, walks every now and then, but he doesn't want me to go out now. He's, it's a little scary out there for me to uh, go out and walk because I don't want to fall. Um, because if I get any cuts or anything on my leg, they're, they're not going to do the surgery because they're for fear of infection. So, I don't know. Um, so we have to move things around in the den. We're still waiting for our den. I don't know if you can see it. We're still waiting for our den to finish. Over here, <laughs> I can't tell. Um, I'll show you what's going on there. We had some mold growing on, taking forever for them to come and fix it. And they, you know, took the wall part off and you could see the outside, which was pretty scary. And that's probably why we were so freaking cold in there. Um, but they're supposed to, and I'm not sure when, redo the whole complex with insulation and siding. I, we, we just don't know when. But anyway, they're still waiting. We're still waiting to have it finished. So I can put everything back together because everything is everywhere. I got... Uh, my bookcases are in the hallway, so we have like this much room to, to walk by. 
Okay, the lighting is not great, but this is our current situation right now. Our bookcases that were behind us in the den are now in the hallway. I got the other one behind the door, but this is where they've been for, I don't know, how long? How long have they been, been waiting for the room to be done? Two to three months. Yeah, two to three months at least. But we're waiting for them to come back to finish the den. Hold on. Yeah, they, they, they said a month. A month? But it's been three months or so since this, right? Yeah. This is the, the next to the last step. They're waiting there. He's supposed to come back tomorrow to put the drywall up and finish that up. So now we can put our living room back together or everything else is in the floor on the living room. So it's cluttered in there. You can't walk around and do anything. <laughs> uh, so. Turn it down. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. You have to listen to the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you? I'm not sure what else went on. We haven't gone on vacation at all. No. No, no, no. Maybe next year, hopefully. Hopefully. But, all right. Well, I am going to let you go and um, stay tuned for my what I eat in a days, and uh, I'll let you go, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Okay, good morning. This is my current addiction for my breakfast. I have this every morning, and I really get out of sorts, I guess, when I don't have it. So anyways, this is my breakfast. I have a half a cup of oatmeal, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of soy milk. Um, about, I don't know, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of ground flax seed, and one cup of blueberries. No, I have a banana in there too, that I mashed up a banana for my sweetness. And then one cup of blueberries. Just mix that all up and it's wonderful. I love it. It kind of like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's cold and it's icy. It's um, nothing like eating frozen blueberries. I don't know, it's really, really good. I think you all should try it. Let me know if you do. Okay, here's lunch. Amy and I are going to split an Asian salad that we picked up. So I'm just going to mix that together and I'm going to add some brown rice and quinoa to mine. And, I don't know, maybe an egg or two. I'll let you know. Okie dokie, another day of what I eat in a day. Hello there. While Sully and I wait for his, say hi, Sully. Hi. <laughs> wait for his doctor's appointment. Um, you're not gonna believe what happened this morning. Surprised the crap out of us. Like, I was shocked. Never in my wildest dreams did I think this was ever gonna happen. My son called yesterday and said there's a package that has to be signed today. So make sure you're home, you're like, you know, between nine and 12. I'm like, okay. We figured it's a birthday present for Sully. His birthday's August 3rd. So he calls this morning and says, I think that package is about to be delivered right now. So we go to the door and oh my God, my granddaughter and my grandson were there. I freaked out, I screamed. <laughs> I screamed so loud. I'm like, oh my God. And then I did see my son and daughter-in-law. I'm like, 
where the heck are they? They were in the car. We didn't even know it was them. I'm like, oh my God, we were shocked. I still can't get over it. I still can't, I, I can't even, we were just speechless. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen him in three years and four months, Sully said. Oh my God, we were so excited. So we can't wait now to spend the whole week with them. They go back Monday night and we're just thrilled.